it's Carrie, and today I'm going to share a $50 movie night unbirthday party that I put together for my youngest daughter three years ago. An unbirthday party is a birthday party that celebrated six months after your birthday because your mom had to travel for work during your real birthday. So let's get started. So when planning my parties, there are always five elements that I need to consider. The first element is the invitation. Then I move on to the decoration, food, entertainment, and finally the prizes and favors. So all you're going to need for this super duper easy invitation is a bag of popcorn which can be purchased from the dollar store or if you have popcorn at home you can just use that and that will be free. A pair of regular scissors to cut out your um, invitation topper. A pair of pinking shears in order to get that little detail on the topper that looks like a ticket. You're going to need to uh, have your print out. And you can actually get this shape right off of Word. Just stack two of these shapes on top of each other so that you can kind of fold it in half and make the topper. I just printed it out for this example on just some regular, um, you know, white paper, computer copy paper. But you would just choose whatever card, you know, cardstock that you would like. And you need that. And then finally, you just need a treat bag in order to fill everything in. And what's optional is to also add a prize, kind of like the Cracker Jack box. So what I did was I purchased a pack of 10 tattoos from Party City. 10 came in a pack for a dollar. And I just wrapped up each one individually and stuck them inside each one of the invites. So essentially what you're going to do is cut out the shape you know, of the topper. Fill your bag with popcorn and insert the prize. And then just affix the topper to the top of the bag. And that's it. So I'm going to show you how everything comes out. Okay, so this is what the topper looks like once it's cut out. Just, you know, be a little bit more diligent than I am. Um, make sure that there's no, you know, white edges showing or anything like that. I just quickly cut this out just for purposes of this example. And then what, what you're going to do is fold the topper right on you know that line up there to make sure that everything is you know lined up I'm trying to do this with one hand I lost the base to my um, mount so I can't mount it so I'm trying to do this all with one hand so you would uh, basically just fold it in half and take your pinking shears and cut the sides of each one to get that shape. And I'll be right back to show you the final product. And the final piece to this invitation is just to basically adhere the um, topper to the popcorn bag uh, with a stapler. You staple that on and there you have it. A very cute um, you know, invitation for your guest. So what do you get when you combine a um, piece of printer paper with the letter printed on it, some scissors, some duct tape, a nail, some glue, some spray paint, some foam board from the dollar store, some old trim, and Christmas lights? Well, you get an awesome concession sign. Okay, so in order to make the sign, what you're going to do first is, um, let's pretend like these are full size uh, foam board. I just actually just randomly cut out a piece of a foam board just to show you an example because it would be too large to actually film on tape. I know these aren't the right size or the same size, but you know, ideally two foam boards would be the exact same size. You would uh, first take your foam boards, line them up, take your duct tape and tape it down so that they could become, you know, one gigantic piece. Then you would take your letters, each individual letter, and print them out on your computer and then cut the letter out. Once you cut the letter out, you're going to adhere it to the foam board. 
So let me um, do that and I'll be right back. So after both pieces of your foam board are adjoined by the um, duct tape, you're going to flip it over. And you're going to, um, you have cut your letter out and you've adhered it with some um, glue. Uh, you just use a glue stick and adhere the letter down. And you would just spell out the entire word or whatever word you want. You don't have to even make a concession stand. You can use this for anything, de decorating a child's room or whatever. But you put whatever word you want on there, uh, glue that down in whatever color you want. Then you take a nail and you're going to just puncture in even intervals all the way around you know the C. We did not measure, we just eyeballed it and once you puncture in all of the holes you will then feed in the Christmas lights through each one of the holes that are, um, through each one of the holes that is on the letter. Okay and so after the letter is glued down and you've uh, punctured your holes and you fed the uh, Christmas lights through everything you're going to take your uh, wood trim these are popsicle sticks just for the example you would spray paint your trim black or whatever color you want it to be and then you would adhere it with wood glue and you would just basically go around the entire frame and you're finished and that's how simple this sign can be. By now you guys should know I'm the queen of asking people for free stuff. So I went to my local uh, theater and asked them could I have some of the little snack trays and they were happy to give me a few of the snack trays. They would not give me the cups though so I ended up going to Target and the Target concession stand actually gave me some cups and so therefore all of my decor for the food trays were free. Instead of purchasing a traditional cake, we opted to make um, popcorn cupcakes. This was a very economical and fun way um, to serve our treats. In addition, we had hot dogs, popcorn, soda, and you can't forget the candy. If you would like to know how to make the popcorn cupcakes, you can just do a quick Google search and there will be tons of tutorials that will show you how to make these easy and fun cupcakes. As far as entertainment goes, obviously the girls watched movies, but in addition to movies, they played the um, mummy rap game. That's a traditional game that's played at every party we do now, where the girls take toilet paper, divide up in teams, and see who can wrap each other up as the best mummy. Then after they wrap each other up, they bust out, and then they kind of just play with the tissue all over the place. It's hilarious. They also had a photo shoot where they took boas and props and just kind of got in the niches and took pictures and those pictures were later put into frames for party favors. So as I said before, for the favors, they received pictures and picture frames. And one of the other games that they played to, that they could actually win a prize for was um, a box where it was wrapped in multiple layers of paper and there was a question on top of the box. Each girl had to answer a question like, name a Taylor Swift song. If they got it right, they were able to peel a layer of the packaging off and then they just passed it on and they kept passing it on kind of like musical chairs until you got down to the last layer and the person that last answered the last question and ripped off the last layer actually got to win the prize inside the box the girls actually love that game finally i would like to show you an example of how a custom homemade party can be more fun and more cost effective than using the convenient traditional method of taking eight girls out to see whatever blockbuster movie is playing in the theaters for their birthday. With a little creativity and DIYs, you can have a fabulous party on a budget. As you can see under the traditional method, uh, you send out an evite, that's convenient, but having a custom invitation really uh, ant, you know, ups the ante and makes people really want to come to your party. When you go to the movie, there are no decorations, but here at a homemade party, you have great decor. Um, the food, you can eat some cardboard pizza at like a CC's Pizza or something like that, or just have some fun food at home. And uh, the entertainment, obviously, in traditional, you'd just be watching whatever movie is out. But at home, you can just play mini games uh, in addition to watching a movie. And also, prizes and favors, there's none when you go to a regular party. But, you know, prizes and favors are at homemade parties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.